Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tepping Flamingo and today I'm going to make something with a really pretty bead I got from Jesse James Beads. So one of the things I got from December 2021's Jesse James Ambassador Beads was a strand of gorgeous beads and they were the new Pantone strand in Illuminating, which is that really pretty yellow that's been the color of 2021 one of the colors. And the main focal point in that strand of beads was this beautiful bead. And I've been, I set it aside, I've kind of been hoarding it. And I think I figured out what I finally want to do with it. And it pertains to me and it pertains to this one right here. So my sister from Peace Craft Dolls is a huge doll collector and she especially likes Blythe dolls. She's turned me on to them. I'm getting so I like them too. I have a few what they call fake Blythe dolls. I didn't have any real ones but my sisters both of them went in together and for Christmas they got me this little girl. Her name is Heather Skye. She's all dressed in yellows and greens and it brings you back to this bead right here. Not only does it bring me to that bead, it also brings me to some of the little butterfly wings that came in, um, let's see, it was called the Butterfly Bead Mix in Never Give Up. So Blythe dolls, they have what they call a pole string and you can change their eye colors. And a lot of people like to decorate the, um, the string with beads. In order to do that, you have to take their heads apart, and I'm not really into all that. So I've been actually making charms that you can just hang off of these. And so that's what I'm planning on doing today. But this particular pull charm, I plan it on, I'm planning on it to also be a charm that I can hang on an existing um, necklace that I have. So when she's not wearing it, I can wear it. By the way, before I start creating, I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek. These earrings, Jesse James beads. I'm doing a video on it, so stay tuned for that, along with three other pair of earrings. All right, I think I have everything I need. Uh, this came from the new Pantone strand in Illuminating. And the wings and the other beads came from the Butterfly Bead Mix in Never Give Up. And then I'm using a fancy lobster claw and some wire, I believe this is 20 gauge wire, and some little seed beads. And I have made a lot of these. In fact, I probably need to make a playlist because um, I have all kinds of different styles. And you can use this same technique to make um, keychains or pendants for necklaces, ornaments, just whatever. Whoops. Jump the gun here. <laughs> there we go. Let's see, where's the hole? Okay, once you get your beads all strung up, I always like to take a a look at them to make sure I've got all my beads in the correct order. Isn't that going to be pretty? Move all this aside. I don't need any more of these beads. And I'm going to need my pliers. And I want to do a messy wrap. And I'm going to go ahead and put the wings on there. There we go. Then just messily wrap this around. 
And once you get the look that you want, just clip it off and tuck the ends in. All right, Don't, doesn't that look nice? And then I just want to do the same thing on the other end, and I'm going to get a jump ring and just hang the clasp on this other end. So far, that's what we got. Uh, I just need to get this jump ring and open it up. Like so. Make sure it's closed really well and we have ourselves a, just a little pull. Now put it on a decorative lobster claw because that way, I'll show you here, I'll put it on my existing chain. And it, it looks just fine, it's part of the design. More importantly, she will probably be wearing it most of the time. I can just open up the clasp and put it on there. And there she has her little pole charm. And if you really wanted to, you could take her head apart and thread these beads onto this. But this way it's just easier. And if I wanted to change her little charm out on a daily basis, it's not that big of a deal. Now I know most of us are not into dolls. But you could use this for other things. You could hang it on your purse, another bag. You could hang it in your rear view mirror. Or you can dangle it off your Christmas tree. However you use it, it is a gorgeous piece, isn't it? If you're interested in any of these beads or other beautiful things that Jesse James Beads has, I've got a link down in the description box below for you to click on to check out what they have. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed being with you today. And I hope you have a fantastically wonderful rest of the day. This is Terry Jeanette and Heather Skye signing up for now. Bye-bye.